edition of Revs and Runways, a fusion of motorsport and fashion show, excited car enthusiasts and fashionistas, with belting performances at Tafawa Balewa Square in Lagos. The harmonious electrifying sounds, bleak fog, dexterity, and cheerful spectators spiced up the show, which featured 30 spinning sports cars, 15 power bikes, 11 fashion designers showing 10 appealing pieces each, and 5 race queens. Although the show is purely to entertain, there is a side attraction to give small and medium enterprises visibility to boost their sales. Speaking also, the co-founder of Revs and Runway, for him, drifting is the fastest growing motorsport in the world and an emerging area in Nigeria. Fusing it with fashion is a way to expand its reach to new audiences. With varying brands of fancy and sleek sports cars, extra sets of wheels, car jacks and ramps, power bikes, helmets, and hands-on mechanics to fix shredded wheels as a result of the revvings. combination but the truth is wherever you see nice cars you see women in nice clothes you see men looking nice you see luxury and you see all beautiful things around once you have nice quality cars around however we thought how could we put this together and the only way to do it was a fashion show mixed with an auto show where you have cars you have ladies you have guys looking nice on the runway and missed cars and then you support it with good music. Everybody has something to look out for and you have great fun. That's why we decided to do this and we've been doing this since 2016. I don't see us stopping anytime soon. 
The government can help. Motorsports is expensive, fashion is expensive, but if we get government funding, so many things can happen. You, you can imagine how much cars we can bring in, or if the government decides to give us a concession on importation of parts, importation of cars. Trust me, motorsports will be a great tourist attraction. The government decides, if the government decides to create better arenas or cheaper arenas for us to drift or reduce the cost of importation on tires by reducing duty or giving a concession on duty, so many things will happen. We would have more people wanting to go into the motorsports space because there is a better cost of purchase when it comes to parts, cars itself, and anything that has to do with these events. So we just need help from the government one way or the other. We are having fun and um, yeah, I'm glad um, the audience is enjoying it. First of all, the government should um, subsidize the spaces, I guess, that we use for these events. Like the, like the CBS uh, we are using here, it should be cheaper for us to to be able to afford uh, doing the events multiple times rather than once a year and stuff like that. The atmosphere is actually nice, not bad. I'm seeing what I like to see, that is motorsport, so I'm happy to be here. Ah yes, now we should always organize events like this like 12 times in a year, every month. It's supposed to be 12 times in a year. <laughs> it's, it's just exactly very simple, support. Support is what we need, just support from the government, you know. There should be, we should at least have a standard race track, a drift track, where people can just show, their, show what they have to offer. So we need support, that's just it. I feel absolutely ecstatic because the turnout is mental. This year looks definitely better than last year. And I believe with more publicity and more sponsors, we will get it to a bigger stage next year. Um, the government is interested in this because what we do is, for the love of cars, we've managed to keep a lot of kids off the streets. So they have a hand in, in giving us you know, permission to use this place. They've, spot, they've helped us with the firefighters, last month to control traffic. So the government is doing okay in this aspect. Yeah, but I can't really put a number to uh, uh, what they can do as per spare parts and importation and all that. You know, it's your car. If you need a part, you will find a way to buy it. That's the important thing.